Hey everybody, it's Derek and welcome back to CRM Tip of the Day's Video Tips, your source for tips and step-by-step -step instruction on the latest version of Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So in today's video, I want to do kind of part two of our Live Assist for Dynamics 365 and talk a little bit about the configuration options. So we showed you initially how you could go in, you know, set it up, get your trial account, how the widgets installed inside Dynamics 365 shows you even a little bit how to work within the context of the widget. One of the things that I want to do is show you a little bit from the Cafe X piece on how you configure it and how that's going to potentially affect what happens inside Dynamics 365, but also what happens from a website perspective when the users are actually going out there and engaging. So let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like inside the application. So I'm in Dynamics 365. If I go into settings, I will see a live assist area. And this is gonna give me and take me into all the different widgets that are available based upon the functionality. So in here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the supervisory widget, and this is gonna open up my subscription for Cafe X, where I can actually go in and start doing some of the admin stuff. Now, again, this isn't necessarily a Cafe X course or, or item. It's more about letting you just understand what the capabilities are from a configuration perspective. So obviously, this is an engagement model for your customers. So as you're coming in and as you have visitors that come to your website, you all and click on your, your different links and do the different items, you will be able to see where the visitors came from, uh, what items they came in from that perspective. This allows you to really start looking at demographics and using this as a true engagement model. Now, one of the other things that you you'll see in here that I thought was really neat was this users area. So obviously this will show you every user that you have a license associated with from this standpoint. This also allows you to determine uh, what interface they're going to be using from a language perspective, um, how long they're going to be logged out after, after specific hours of inactivities, um, and then what specific areas they might have per, uh, permissions to inside the application. The other thing that's kind of neat in here is there's a skills area. So this is where you have the capabilities to define different different skill sets for each one of your users. Now, what's nice about this particular scenario is now you don't necessarily just have to use this from a support perspective or from a sales perspective. Now, when you actually create these engagement widgets that you're placing onto your web page, you can direct people to, or you can direct people to different types of users based upon where they're coming from. So if I'm on like a sales and marketing page and they click on the live assist icon, it's going to take them or create a chat request for people who have a sales skill set. If I'm in more of a support area and I click on the icon, it's going to send them to somebody who is more of a support based situation. And so that's one of the unique things that I kind of liked about this is this is where I can create different skill sets to allow them to kind of work through there and route those. Then you have what are called your campaigns. And so your campaigns will include what are, all, what are called engagements. And engagements are really what's going to reflect them to different situations. <clears throat> so the first thing that you'll see in here is the interaction type. So this is where you can define who the audience is that you're working with. So when this is coming in and you're interacting with users, this is where you can define what specific users you want to work with inside your website. So are these people that are coming in from a, an external reference? Are these people that are coming in based upon geolocation information? Um, is there an IP range? Basically, how are you wanting to determine who these individual users are? So obviously, if this is a situation where they are using your Dynamics 365 portal, these users will be authenticated to the portal using their contact record. Now we have the capability to look at that based upon their customer number. Now we can go ahead and reflect that model accordingly. So this gives you a lot of flexibility to determine how you want to direct things based upon who's coming in, where they're coming in, so on and so forth. The other thing that you'll see in here is the actual what's called engagement. And so this is that, that sticky button. Now, it doesn't necessarily just have to be the live assist icon. This could be they have different methods that you could use to direct people to different pages. So you wouldn't even necessarily have to direct them internally. This would give you the capabilities to determine, you know, if you wanted to have a slide up window or icon that was going to come in as part of your option. So this is what gives you the capabilities to go in and look at the actual icon itself. So this is the button. 
This is where the button is going to be placed inside the application. Um, this is where I can go ahead and change the button to different options. They have many different templates and items that I can work with based upon those individual situations. There's different themes that I can use depending upon. So if I want to adjust the color and those options, I can create or modify specific themes. And then again, this is where I can define how I want this to be displayed. So again, it doesn't necessarily have to be for the entire website. I can go in and I could add based upon URL and determine if I wanted to put this on any page that contains a certain URL. Now I have that capabilities to start creating kind of different engagement models based upon different situations. Only take people here and direct them to this area. So this gives me those capabilities to kind of work through those. The other piece of this that I thought was kind of neat when when I was working with it and talking with some of the Cafe X people is when you start getting into some of the co-browse functionality, um, you also have the capabilities to do masking. And so that way, when people are going into specific fields on your web page, if they're capturing like a social security number or something like that, you can actually set it up so that information is not visible to the actual user or to the person that's kind of working through it. So this gives you a lot of capabilities to kind of go through. And again, I didn't want to make this a, a huge configuration scenario. I at least wanted people to see what the options are by simply deploying that HTML tag that we talked about in the previous video out into your website and then making these configuration changes that will push out automatically. It's a pretty simplistic interface. I would definitely recommend coming in here and playing with this during your trial and option and, and just kind of see what capabilities it can give you. So that's going to do it for this week's video and our series on the Live Assist powered by Cafe X for Dynamics 365. I hope you enjoyed it and hope it gave you some nice information to at least get started anyway. Uh, for all of us here at CRM Tip of the Day, this has been Derek saying thanks for watching everybody. Take care and have a good one.